What is going on, everybody? Hitmon Channing here, back again with another Pokemon trading card game, People Top Video. We are back, and it is time to do some good, high quality tournament gameplay. We got a lot of awesome decks to take a look at in the Surging Sparks set. We're gonna start off with Hydreigon EX versus Cerulege EX. The bracket's gonna be on screen for you right now, so you can take a peek at what we have uh, cooked up at a glance right here. Um, but I'll just have Luigi start and kind of describe to you what Cerulege is all about. So I'm gonna be discarding a lot of energy. So the first attack is Abyssal Flame. It does 30 damage plus 20 more for each energy card in your discard pile. So this deck is just built to turbo through itself. We have like 20 energy in the deck. We're just gonna get it all in the discard pile and we're gonna hit for huge Abyssal Flames. It has a second attack, but we are not built. We are only running Fire Energy. We're not built to use Amethyst Rage. And to help us is we have the new A spec, Brilliant Blender. <laughs> which allows you to search your deck for five cards and discard them. So it just gets five energy out of the deck. Or you can like get other things to thin, but 99% of the time you're just getting energy. So you're just milling through your deck. You got all the turbo cards, researches, carmines, squawker billy. Just get as many energy cards in the discard pile as you can. Yeah, I'm going to be playing High Dragon. It's a stage two with 330 HP, which doesn't really matter for the Cerulege matchup because yeah. I'm just going to get destroyed uh, in that regard. But we are playing it for the second attack, uh, Obsidian, for a Psychic Dark. Metal and Colorless, you can do 130 to basically three of your opponent's Pokemon, the active and two bench. Um, we have Sparkling Crystal to help out with that. And the whole deck is kind of just built around aiming to get an Obsidian off as early as possible. The first attack, Crashing Heads, does 200 and mills the top three of your opponent's deck, but Luge wants uh, energies to be milled, so I don't know how effective that's gonna be. Yeah, but that would be great. <laughs> <laughs> other than that, it's a pretty standard dark type deck. We got some dark patches, we got some other dark type Pokemon in here to help us out, like Pheasantipity and Pekaron. And that's pretty much it. Deck is pretty straightforward. I'm excited to get going here. Okay, okay I think we're ready to go. Would you like heads or tails? I will say tails never fails. It is heads. Dang. I will go. I think I just go first. <laughs> yeah, I, if, if you, yeah, I was gonna go first just to deny you from going first, to be completely honest, because. I'm speed. Yeah, you're just, it's too strong. It's just way too strong. We got a wall again. <laughs> what about? What about? Four fire. Wow. If you had a basic, that hand actually would have been decent. Oh, yeah, the, lo the logo on this beautiful playmat. Uh, you can where, where can you get it? Uh, you can get it at tcgplayer.com. <laughs> I wish. No, you can go get it at hitmonjanning.com. Uh, take a look. I got these beautiful, beautiful playmats for you. And um, yeah, use code. What, what's the code going to be for this one? Sparks5. Code Sparks5. And you can get yourself a nice little discount. Why did you do this? You I felt an You don't have a ball. I felt, you know. All right, I'm going second. I'll draw it all again. Good luck. You know, drop for turn. Oh, we're getting energy in the discard pile. <laughs> Start off with a perfect mixer. Oh god! <laughs> uh, what is that called? Brilliant Blender. I'm going back in. Goodbye, five fire energies. We'll keep them, yeah, keep them separate. We'll keep them separate just so we can keep track. I got two nest balls as well. Holy cow. A bird and a second shark adet. Just fell on my bench a little bit. I like to cut. Absolutely. And then I will go into a Carmine. Oh my god. Discard, draw one, four, five. Pokey stop, I'll use it. Okay, we got an energy. I don't know, I drew my, I only run three Serral Edge. I drew my second one. I don't know if I want to, to, <laughs> to squawk, but my hand is like, okay. Actually, I can do like this first, and see if I get a supporter for next turn. Five, seven, take Iono to draw next turn. So at least I can still, Attack because I don't need he's not getting a high dragon on next turn, so I still got time to dump more energy into the discard pile. Yeah, you're at what six, right? Six, so it's already yeah. 210. <laughs> already 210 there, that's lit, bro. One, <laughs> one attack. No, it's, it's not 210, that's 150, isn't it? Isn't it plus 20? Oh, yeah, my bad. Whoops, yeah, yeah. it's okay. Next turn, we at 300 anyway, so <laughs> <Okay. laughs> and then um, from here, I will just pass. Okay, I'll go ahead and draw for a turn. Crack setup hand. We'll start with a buddy buddy coffin. Just take a nice little tally of what's going on in here. I uh, want to make sure I can get dinos and bidoofs onto my bench. Dinos and bidoofs. Okay, a dino and a bidoof. Uh, I'm going to go right back in. I will grab the nest ball. Nest ball will grab the radiant Reninja so I can dump some energies into the discard pile and just kind of start 
Not many energy in the Discord cloud, what are you saying? Yeah, I know. It's a, it's a crazy little thing we got going on over there. And I'll also use my other buddy, buddy Poffin here. Um, just want to double check. I might just burn it. We'll take a look and see. Here, I think that is agreeable. All right, the doof. Why not? All right, we'll go ahead, conceal some cards. Not too shabby, not too shabby. I'll attach a psychic to this dino on the bench. Then I'll go for an Arden. And I'll use Arden to grab Nest Ball and a Forest Seal Stone. Grab these two. I'll play the Nest Ball. I'll just grab Rotom V. And because he did get the Iona, I'm pretty confident my Rotom will stay safe on the bench for now. That's what Jonathan thinks. <laughs> I, just, I know it's just going to get immediately bossed. Um, but then I can also throw this Forest Seal Stone on it so it does give me an easier time next turn to pull off my Dragon play. Um, and I'm still gonna instant charge, just because in case he doesn't, I don't know for whatever reason, if his top deck is insane, at least I have his extra. Throw a Force System on the Rotom, and then I will just instant charge. Okay, I will drop a turn. Okay, interesting. I'll evolve my active into several Edgy X, and then I will also Ultra Ball all the way to two more Ultra Balls. <laughs> Give myself my other Serral Edge if it's in here. It is, so we'll grab another Serral Edge EX. I'll evolve my Bench Charcadet into a Serral Edge EX. And then I will Iona. What? Yeah, we didn't see this one coming, I know. Yo, we're cracked. <laughs> <laughs> Charcadet, Nest Ball, Reading Greninja. Be a little careful here. I don't want to bench too many low HP Pokemon because if you know somehow we get an Obsidian next turn, don't want to be like taking a three card turn with like an Obsidian and a counter catcher. But did you want to cut? Absolutely. I will conceal cards, just gotta fire. I will focus stop. One, two, three. Cool. <laughs> two fire. Two fire. Oh yeah. Attach return. Yeah, I think you should just hold the hand. Three, nine. Yeah, we're doing well enough. So I will just Abyssal Flame for 210. Ooh. And take the knockout. Goodbye, Dino. It was nice knowing you. Um, now here we have a pretty interesting scenario. I'm definitely gonna uh, like aim for that Obsidian. Um, I think now's a good turn to use it because I can just get myself two prizes uh, pretty much for free. And the only thing is I need to bench another Dino, so I can't use Packer Run here, but we should be okay. I'm not super worried. Let's just think about it. I'm gonna leave the Doof here and I'll drop. I'm gonna start off by benching a Dino. Then I'll go ahead and conceal cards. Get rid of this Dark 2. Now I can, I can Ultra Ball to get rid of Iono and his Suian Heavy Ball. That can net me a bit barrel. I'll get rid of the barrel. And then while I'm here, I'll play the Arvin. Arvin can grab me the rare candy. And yeah, that's it. We need a little bit of action in order to get things rolling here, but it's possible. Yeah, you did for the first. It's possible for sure. But I wish a rare candy into Hydreigon, I'll attach the Sparkling Crystal, and then I'll attach a Dark Energy for turn. Then I'll Industrious Incisor for five. And I can go ahead and Dark Patch to my Hydreigon. Then I can use Forest Seal Stone and Dark Patch again. And boom, it's a turn to Obsidian. Yeah, we got there. <laughs> we'll go ahead and use that second Dark Patch to retreat our Bidoof here. The high dragon will get this looking all nice and pretty. And before I do that, yeah, there's nothing else I want to go for here. There's just obsidian doing 130 to the active, and then I can go ahead and do 130 and 130 over there. Yep. Take two passes. Okay, I will start my turn off by drawing. I will play an urban vessel, discarding fire energy, getting two cards out of my deck, or two energy out of my deck, two fire. How much energy do I need in the discard pile? They'll take the knockout. Mm -hmm. Can I get there? I think it depends on how good my focus stop is. Actually, I'm gonna go back in. Ultra Ball with both of those energy. Get myself a backup Charcadet. Let me, I'll fix the energy in a second. Bench the backup Charcadet. So how many energy am I adding to this card? Three, 
six, nine, twelve. Need three more somehow? Yo, this Pokestop is gonna be insane. <laughs> Huge Pokestop. Pokestop? Three, right? Dang. Dang. Luckily, it's still fine. Because you only take like one prize off the obsidian. Yeah. Six, nine, twelve, thirteen. I can attach here. And I can still get two prizes. I can go bosses with orders on the Rotongi. Sure. And I can Abyssal Flame for the knockout. Naturally, I think we still do we still want to leave the high dragon? That's the question here. Because what we can do is we can just go for a um, a crashing heads. I don't necessarily want to give him more energy, but I still think doing an obsidian here isn't the worst. I mean, it doesn't even matter because I still want to just try and get the squawk ability anyway. So I can't even KO the Cerulege. 130 plus 130, 10, 10 HP. Yeah, um, I think I'll just go for this High Dragon anyways here. Yeah, I think that's still your best play like, right now. No need to risk anything. And then I'll just draw. So to start off, convert Handy High Dragon onto the bench. Then we can search the deck with the Buddy Buddy Poffin. I just want to take a look and see what's happening here. Um, makes sense, makes sense, makes sense. I think my goal is I can go for a countercatcher, I can take out the squawk, and at that point it's just a boss for game. So that's a pretty solid option. So I will just whiff the... Uh, I'll go ahead and play the cancel clone. Dang, bro. Now, Dang. now none of your abilities are cancelled. That's crazy. <laughs> um, I'll drop a Pheasant Dippity and I'll start with an Industrious Incisors for three. I'll evolve to another Good Barrel here and I'll go ahead and conceal the cards. We can Earthen Vessel away from Army and that can get me Metal and Dark Energy seems fine here. I'll attach the metal energy for turn on the hydrator. Then I'll go ahead and industrious for one. Then I will use flip the script. Sorry. Is it flip the script? Is it the right ones? No. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh yeah, this is the right proxy. Whoops! Flip the script, I'll draw three. Yeah, just flip the script. And I'll get three more cards. Mm -hmm. Then go ahead and Arvin. Arvin will grab me our catcher. And then all I have to do is counter picture up your squawk. Mm -hmm. And we will just crashing heads for the KO, and you just get the top three from your deck. Dang, Dang. actually a, a good mill. Wow. Who would have thought? <laughs> okay. Because I don't want to get you in, but draw. I will touch return. I'll nest ball just to thin. See what's left. Interesting. Can you draw your entire deck this turn? Because that'd be funny. I could. So I'll, I'll play it out just in case you somehow don't have a boss in the 80 cards in hand. Hey, man. And then I will just Carmine, discarding an energy, drawing five. I think I have one card left in deck. Beautiful. <laughs> I will, yeah, I'll hold it just in case. I can retreat for two, just to get more energy in the discard pile, just, just to do as much damage as I can. Naturally. I got three, six, nine, 12, 15, 16. Yeah, so we're doing plenty of damage. And I will just take the knockout on the Hydreon. Oh no. My Hydreon. Goes down. And I'll lead with this Hydrogon. Draw for turn. And yeah, now because you're on one, I can just counter catcher and catch. Yeah. GG. Good game. Yeah, what's it called? Uh, what am I blanking? Having to put the squawk ability in play without needing to use it was a little rough, but. Yeah, and discarding the Briar. Um, yeah, also the Briar was, was rough because that kind of thing. If you didn't, then you probably could have just cooked me. Yeah, the Briar would have been fine, but. Yeah, and I think I would have just gotten cooked from that. But Hydro Gun is this good? <laughs> turn two, uh, turn two Obsidian. I didn't even need to use Pepper Run to get there. I just uh, was able to use my Dark Patches, my Crystal, and such. But yeah, the deck, the deck was moving and grooving. It was, uh, it felt pretty nice. It's somewhat sufficiently randomized. No, 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 it's Pile Shuffle. Yeah, not Pile Shuffle. So it's not fully, it's not fully randomized. I did get a base hit. <laughs> oh shoot. So you said you were first, right? Yes. Good luck. I will draw for turn. Ooh. <laughs> I will start with an Earthen Vessel, discarding a fire energy. Gets two more. I don't even know if I want to attach for turn. I think I just want to attach. 
Oh, there's energy. I'll find them. There's no way I don't, right? <laughs> right. Right, guys? Mm -hmm. That's what pulled up. And we'll Carmine. Just card five energy in our research. Yeah. <laughs> kind of busted, actually. One, two, three. I'll attach and I'll pass. Okay. I'll draw off return. Luckily, I'm going against this deck. And what do you do? I ambush, not gonna do anything. 40, okay, that's the most, because I'm thinking dark patch, like, okay, that's technically the most you can do. Yeah, <laughs> can you imagine? Get the dunk. Um, I'll earth and vessel, just like beat through the list. Get myself a dark energy. I think, I honestly think I'll do, I can get a dark and a psychic. I have to Iona here, you, like, which is really bad. Oh no! Yeah. <laughs> oh no! But the thing is, if I don't Iona, I just lose because you have Sir Religion. <laughs> Oh no. I almost drew five energy. This was the last card I drew. I, almost, I drew four energy. I'm like, I'm done. <laughs> I shouldn't have commented about finding energy. I cursed I myself. And yeah, now all your energy are at the bottom. Yes. Only three of them. <laughs> oh, that's all your energy, right? Yeah. I'll, I'll attach the dark return and I'll play Iona. Oh no, no, my. I know I'm not going to find any other ball search. Watch, well, the top card would have been like a discard card and that would have been fine. It was another energy. <laughs> Yo, my hand cooked city, bro. My hand's cooked. <laughs> I'll bench the doof and die now. And I will pass to you. Draw for turn. Chef city. We're gonna evolve into Sarah Ledge X. <laughs> it's fine. Bench Charm <laughs> Dead. We got a Nest Ball. Hopefully, we don't see another turn. I mean, without the energy already on a Dino, I don't think it's as easy for you to get a turn two. Yeah, you have to, definitely makes you have to work in a Crispin, yeah. probably. I don't, do you have Crispin? I do play it, but like, it's pretty impossible. To, yeah, to especially when, when you got sitting on my board. You got four cards in hand. Yeah. Yeah, we're chilling, bro. Got a little nervous during that first <laughs> minute. <laughs> Iono came in big, bro. I, or else we just been a yeah. Vissel Flamin. Thank you, oh, man. Well. And you would've walked. <laughs> and I would've walked. Deck is now randomized. Would you like to cut? Why? I keep concealed cards. Draw. Might as well keep going. Stop. Yo. Focus stop. Oh my. I'm gonna go Ultra Ball away to Fire Energy. <laughs> Get no more Fire Energy. No more Fire allowed. Now here's the thing, I have boss in hand. I think I might want to boss the Bidoof here, because no. if I'm taking one prize, I think I want to get rid of any out he has to like consistency next turn. Oh please. <laughs> so I think we're gonna go for that line. Because I haven't played a supporter. Yeah, I'm no, not. No, yeah. We're good, we're chilling, we're good. I will play boss's orders on the Lone Bidoof man. And then I will Abyssal Flame four, three, six, nine. <laughs> we got a lot of ones and twos. Yeah, I know, it wasn't even enough. Goodbye, Mr. Bidoof. He, he, he fought valiantly. He did, he did. It was, it was nice knowing him. Now, how greedy do I want to be? I'm saying greed, bro. I think I have to. Like, I need to be funny here. No! What's up, Big No! I got the poor mental foresight, insane, bro. Um, I'm gonna start with the focus up. Man, <laughs> that was like I can, I can, I'm scooping this one up. There's like no point in playing. Oh this yeah, you can attach and like I can attach and do nothing. Yo, next turn. <laughs> next turn. No, 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 no. We're scooping that one. Up. That was that was tough. That was a tough go. <laughs> the top like the barrel was I knew it, was so BM, dude. So bad. I knew it, that foresight. The <laughs> okay, you ready? Good luck. Good luck. Draw for turn. Yo, the one Ultra Ball actually was like super clutch that I just topped back. Ultra Ball, and I'll get rid of Iona's <laughs> counter catcher. I mean, this is actually only clutch if I didn't prize for him. <laughs> uh -oh. Thankfully, I didn't. Thankfully, I didn't. Mm -hmm. Thankfully, uh -oh. we're good. We're good again. Just double check. Make sure we aren't Omega cooked. The rest of our prizes. Get Rotom out. Attach Seal Stone. I'll use it. And I'll. Buddy Buddy Poffin for a dime. What if you wish? Then I'll listen charge for three big cards. Okay, I will draw myself a card for turn. Bench with Shark of Dead. Put Nest Ball. We're gonna grab a Greninja here if he's in the deck. Let's go. Radiant Greninja so we can start concealing the cards. Absolutely. Think here. Uh, I can conceal cards. Draw two. Then I will just. Professor's research first, I built two and those two, five, six, seven, three energy in the discard. I'm gonna nest ball and I'll also, also earth and vessel while I'm in the deck. Dang. No, we don't want to swap. Do I want to I could swap, but I don't know if I want to put it in play again. So, also the nest ball, I think I'm just gonna get another Charcadet. 
and also the earther vessel so no one's charging me too more energy. What? Yeah, I think the will of this also does matter because I hit 310 at a certain point. Yeah. So the will of this bringing it from 330 to 310 does nicely work in if I need to KO or Hydro Dragon next turn. Optimal Charc Cadet, man. Optimal Charc Cadet. Four in the discard five. Mm -hmm. Ah, yeah, focus on. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah, beautiful. Huge. Chef's dude, kiss. Huge. Chef's, chef's kiss. I'll attach to my active Charc Cadet and we will will O Wisp. Damn. For a nice big schmackaroo of 20 damage. I'll draw for turn. Uh, I think the best play is to Pokestop. <laughs> nice, nice. Okay. Hey man. All this dark patch, no energy in the discard pile. Um, I'll pop in. I'll pop in here for sure. Pop in will have me another Dino. I'm going to. I could amp. I could ambush you. And that math, oh, would, that math would matter because then I could Obsidian. <laughs> twice. Twice. Yeah, you can Obsidian twice. Twice. <laughs> twice. Um, the, I think the actual best play is to just Arvin. Arvin can grab me. An item and a tool. An item and a tool, exactly. Grab Rare Candy and Crystal. Well, we're going to see a crazy little early game, uh, whatever the first attack's called. <laughs> <laughs> we could have. We could have. But we won't. <laughs> Man, we won't. From here, we'll just use the charge. Okay, I will draw for turn. I'll start with a big concealed cards. Drawing one and two. I go further vessel, discard a fire, two more. Going back in, ultra ball two fire. Let me grab a several edge EX. What? I know crazy, right? <laughs> I don't mind those. Shuffle that up. I will poke a stop. Okay, cool. Discard the boss. I get the poke gear and the fire energy. I will night stretcher back a Sarah GX and evolve. I will ultra ball away, ultra ball on fire energy. The deck it is not. So I think I just fail the ultra ball because I don't want to give him. I mean, I already give him two prizes, but I don't want to give him two shark cadets off of the obsidian if he even gets there next turn. Just fail the ultra ball. Or I can grab it just to my hand. Yeah, I'll grab the swap ability to my hand. Come on, I think you want to put it. Just to thin it. Because I'm trying to dig for boss here so I can get two prizes off the road on. And then just keep rolling. Hopefully just keep rolling two prizes off of that after that. Because I think energy-wise in the discard pile, I'm pretty set right now. Let's see, it's like nine. So we're at 250. Okay, yeah, we could, and we still got cards in the deck to discard, so we're in a fine situ situation. I'll poke it here. Okay, I'll just go that pause. <laughs> Do you want me to shuffle? Just, just shuffle it anyway. That's fine. <laughs> Let me guess. Yeah, I'd like to. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I can pop the like, barrel again. <laughs> if you do that, yeah, I'm insane. But I, I do want the run. I think now it's just. Yeah, no, it just makes more sense. Go two, two, two. Hopefully, it just makes more sense. Okay, if you'd like to cut, I will this again. Boss the. I'll boss the. And then I'll just abyssal flame. Take two prizes for the knockout. Yeah. It's doing whatever we said five yeah. seconds ago. Agility damage. To get PM that. 11 energy in the discard pile. I'll leave the dino and I'll draw for a turn here. Put dice on it now. You remember I can do that. Now I really do want to go for an obsidian here because this is the turn to do it. It is it now. <laughs> <laughs> this is the one. This is the turn. Um, and you do have like all the options. I have a lot of options. I just don't have the cards. Like you got that a bunch of dark patches. Then you got dark patches. patches. I have so many dark patches, but no dark energy in the discard yeah. pile. So I think no energy in the discard pile. You see, you say I, I, I really do be wishing that. Maybe I was you here. need that perfect mixer bro, or the brilliant blender. I think I think that's the, the goal, honestly. I'm gonna go ahead and spin the stop. That's that hey. Actually, does yeah, help me a little bit um, because what I can do is I can start an ultra ball. And get rid of an Arvin and a Hydreigon. That can grab me Pheasantipity. So at this point, he's still just gonna be hitting 2 2 2 every single turn. Yep. The Fez is a. Uh, um, get the Fez. Yeah, get the Fez. Get the Fez. Get the, the Fez. You can cut if you wish. I will. And I will flip that script. One, one, three. No support is played yet, right? No, nothing yet. And uh, I'm starting to wonder if I prized all my dark energy. Let's find out. Let's find out. Let's find out. 
I did press half of them. I did press half the dark energy, so that's a, that's a thing. That's a thing for sure. I'll uh, fail the buddy buddy, but I'll go ahead and... This is so bad. <laughs> I'll nest ball. Did that run through? Or game bit doof number two, in case I have to happen to boss the whole way up. The beginning if I should get Greninja here. I think that might be the play. If you need energy in the discard pile. The thing is, is I need him in the discard pile that I don't have any dark energy in my hand of my yeah. cards. <laughs> so it's a, it's a little rough out here. It's a little rough out here for sure. Um, let's think about this critically. Hmm, let's think. Let's think about this. I have 12 energy in the discard pile. He's in the tank. Uh, I'm, I'm thinking, bro. He's in this the is, tank. This is a crazy oh, hand, dude. bro. I mean, you have how many cards I can play down to the barrel. <laughs> <laughs> I think I, have, I might have like 15 cards. 9, 12, 15. Like, you got options. <laughs> Do I? <laughs> Do I know? I mean, you have the option. You have all the power, bro. You got all 15 power cards. All 15 power. Okay, I will grab Greninja here. I'm gonna go back. I'll start by. Playing the cologne. Oh no. Rats. <laughs> <laughs> oh, rare candy. Don't, th th this one, this one, this one. Hydreigon. Oh. My mind games didn't work. <laughs> Night Stretcher. The other Hydreigon. The other Hydreigon. And I have rare candy in hand for that. Yeah, I would assume so. <laughs> <laughs> and. You sure this one, this one wants to be a ball? No, nah, he's, he's a. He's eager. He's, 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 looking, he's, he's looking good. He's looking good. I will Ultra Ball, get rid of the Doof and Dark Patch, because I have a lot of those. And I'll grab myself with the barrel. Jeez, ladies and gentlemen, he is thinning, bro. He's he is thinning. Am thinning. I, not the deck, not in the traditional thing. He's thinning the hand. He's thinning the hand now. The hand, just in case, lest we forget. And actually, I might go back. Okay, this is, this is going to be the goal here. It feels terrible, but we got to do what we got to do. I'm gonna Crispin. Crisp easy, bro. And grab Psychic and Dark. I think you have to put one to hand first, right? Yeah, yeah, they're both gonna get attached anyway, but. I'm assuming the active? Yeah, both of the active. We get attached, return, support is down. I'll crystal this High Dragon. Counter Catcher. That's a Rulage. I can be barrel for one. <laughs> oh, jeez. And then. Some three energy, please. I can Moonlight Shuriken, but I don't really want. Not Moonlight Shuriken. Moonlight Shuriken? You did this already, no? No, no, no. Oh, you did it. Yeah, I was trying to find dark energy. Um, can Moonlight Shuriken. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> but I'll, I'll, I'll pass on that one. I'll just crash against for 200. Dang. One energy. Dang. Two energy. And a boss. The boss is good, though. Yeah, the boss is good. Two, two energy doesn't help me because you just need, what, one, right? Yeah. Anyways. Let's see what happens. Drop return. Several Edgy X. I think I'm just gonna card mine here. I don't want to put another Bidoof, another target that down because I have three Several already. Yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't so matter. if those all go down, then I just lose any, like I just lose surprises anyway. So might as well not give him an option out of the city. So I'll card mine for five. Well, wouldn't you look at that? Do I even have enough into. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> sure. I guess I. <clears throat> yeah, we can get rid of three. Three big energies. And that brings me to 17, which is enough. Oh yeah. We're good, we're in, we're in gentlemen and ladies. I will attach return. I am not gonna hit the focus stop. What? Just in case. Spin yeah. it, spin the stop, spin the stop, spin the stop. <laughs> we were fine, we were fine. Let me just double count the energy. So I will abyssal flame for three, six, nine, 12, 15, 16, 17. Which is 240, no, 280, 17, 17. 280 plus, no, 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 17 is 340 plus 30 base, 370. Big numbers. 370 big ones. Big numbers, and uh, yeah, I think you die. I think, I think so, I think I think. I, I have my math guy run the calculation. Yeah, I think I think I get cooked. Um, okay, what can we do here? We'll do with the big dino. Draw for turn. Dark Patch. What? We finally get to use it. Let's go. A Dark Patch. Let's go. Let's go. Um, I think that's the only one I can use, actually, which is sad. Which is pretty sad. Yeah, very sad. Pretty sure. sad. Pretty sad. We'll nest ball here. 
And let's see, is there anything that we can make happen? Not really. Any magic? Anything? Any magic? Not particularly. There's like one play we can try and do, but nothing profound. Profound. Nothing profound. It's nothing profound. Philosopher chanting over here. <laughs> <laughs> No. So what we're gonna do here is, this is a terrible situation. I'll attach for turn. Okay, so what I did you for that obsidian? Inci <laughs> Incisors for two. Why do we need patch, please? <laughs> <laughs> Mess ball? Yo, please, game, please. please. Stop, <laughs> just stop. I don't need the dark Stop. Patch. I will. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you know we in the trenches. Now I'll flip the script. Dark energy. Still no. It's okay, that means the stop is juiced. The stop is all dark energy for sure. Um, the stop is juiced. Again, a terrible situation to be in. There's like such a specific play I have to do here, but it's like, it's not it's not possible anymore. Yeah, well, Ultra Ball, get my Dragon. Yeah, if you look at my deck, I have a Vessel and three dark energy. Those are, those are uh... She juiced. I'm gonna hit them all now, I know for sure. I know for sure I will. Yeah, it's kind of the Vessel. You just gonna hit the vessel, bro. I'm, I'm gonna. Because I'm gonna you haven't concealed yet, so that's another way. But granted, you just discarded another dark pepper. You need those. Hang on. Do I? <laughs> yeah. Do I, bro? Do I really? We got the vessel. We got the vessel. So that means in the deck, out of my six cards, there are three dark energy in there. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> the next two are both energy. <laughs> we will vessel away the ball. Nah, it, it does not matter at this point. Festival of the Waiver of Candy. Shank, that's the Waiver of Candy. Get through these. Concealed cards. And I thought I turbo through my deck. What is this? Heavy ball. <laughs> We're gonna heavy ball. See all the dark energy? Final dark energy in my other vessel. Alright, run. Petra Reaser, bro. He can go right there. We will dark patch! Yeah! The first event, the first of many to come. Uh, and then I can arm them. Which one do you want? We're candy. <laughs> I'll cut, I'll cut, I'll cut. You're more, like, more than welcome to. Yeah. Subjugating chains. I'll bring up Hydra again. Turn four, attack! Turn four, bro. Turn four, Obsidian. Busted. Turn four, Obsidian. Goes crazy. And then I will Obsidian turning both Cerulean. <laughs> no! That's a crazy turn of events, gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen. But I will promote my Cerul Edge. Draw for turn. I will Earthen Vessel one more Fire Energy away. For good measure. For just in case. And then we will... I think that's exactly all my energy in the deck. It probably is, right? That's 19? 20. Yeah, that's everything. <laughs> this is max damage we're seeing here, folks. <laughs> and that will fire mine. True, true, true. Wanna draw? I don't even think that's the rest. Oh, it's it is a focus off that one. <laughs> and then we will Amethyst, Abyssal Flame, Amethyst Rage. Amethyst Rage, just do 280. <laughs> <laughs> we will Abyssal Flame. For 100, 200, 300, and 80 damage plus 410 damage. Hold on, hold on. Let's go. <laughs> Good game. Good game. I even pull any dark energies off the prizes either. That's great. <laughs> you took three prizes. That's a good prize. I didn't even need my dark energy. The game cursed you. Right? Yeah, that was a tough one. We were not meant to win that. You were not, we were not meant to not, win that one. The cards did not want you to win that game. But you know what? Even though I dragon lost, it did put up a good fight, I think. The first game was a great showing. Yeah, the first game um, was like crazy. I did kind of play into it a little bit. I didn't have to bench another truck in it, yeah. but. But still, it's still, it's still, we still pulled it off. Um, not finding any dark energy over the first three turns did me in. Yeah, that's how you that was, that's, that's exactly bad. how you lose. We got documentation. That was definitely bad. But uh, the deck worked pretty good. Um, I was kind of a fan of it. Just kind of a fan, not like a huge fan. Uh, I could use some optimization. This is a suggestion from a PM place to put the new counter game, or the reprint of counter game, I should say, in here, which could just act as a second sparkling crystal for that specific colorless energy. So, could be helpful. Um, you could probably, if you wanted to use the counter game and lean more into the uh, kind of board wipe strategy, you'd need to probably put another psychic or metal in there as well um, to consistently use uh, obsidian on two, uh, two hydrangeas. 
but I really was a fan of how the deck played. It played pretty nicely, apart from the game two brick and the unfortunate game three, but I was a fan. Yeah, game one, that deck showed off. This deck, I mean, it did what it wanted to do every game. Got a lot of energy in the discard pile. I do want to definitely fit in maybe a Pheasant Dipity, because like, I feel like a late game could be a little rough trying to find like a Briar or something. So maybe I just cut a fire energy for Fez <laughs> going forward. But for this, it was fun. It was great. It worked well. I did like 500 damage. <laughs> it was awesome, bro. It was lit. Literally. Lit early. And uh, yeah, with all that said and done, thank you so much for watching. Hi Dragon is knocked out of the tournament. Sarah moves on. Unfortunately. But you know what? I was happy. The High Dragon was the friends we made along the way, for sure. The Obsidian was the friends we made along the way. Thank you for watching. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Comment down below what do you think of these decks? What do you like? What do you dislike? Would you keep them? Would you change about them all? Subscribe to the Pokemon Channel channel to post multiple Pokemon trading card new videos every single week. And with all that said and done, thank you so much for watching. And until next time, Hitmon Channing out.